I'm Lieutenant Colonel Prelo. Um, I've been blessed to live 43 years on this, this, this great earth that uh, God blessed us with. I am the professor of military science here at North Carolina A&T University. North Carolina A&T, it is a, a HBCU, historically black college or university, but the dynamics and the, the demographics, uh, the chemistry for ROTC, for this battalion is like no other, probably about one third, two thirds um, Caucasian Americans to um, African American, and we do have some Hispanics Americans in and the battalion as well. So creating a melting pot of, uh, of sorts, you know. Here in Greensboro, our mission is to commission between 15 or 16, depending on the year, um, commission officers each year. But I've had the opportunity to work very closely with most of the folks in the program, especially the, the juniors and the seniors. And so I get to see them help develop and mold freshmen and sophomores. My name is Joshua Stutz. I'm a cadet from High Point University, currently at, in the ROTC program at North Carolina A&T State University. And this will be my third year getting ready to finish that one out. What really interested me in ROTC, uh, I come from a military family, from my uh, mother and father's side. My father, uncle, great uncle, everybody has been in the Army. And it's just kind of been ingrained in me since I was, you know, five, six years old. I knew this is what I wanted to do. But I figured since no one in my family had been an officer before everybody had been enlisted, I thought, well, if I have an opportunity to be, you know, a big time officer, maybe general one day, why not go for it? and that's what brought me here. My name is Tia Cook. I'm a junior nursing major at North Carolina a and and I also am a certified nursing assistant. What got me interested in ROTC was my mom. Um, she was in the military for six years. She enjoyed it, so in high school she said, well Tia, just try JROTC for one semester. So I tried it and I loved it, and pretty much that kind of geared me toward the nursing career in the military. My name is uh, Cadet James Garrity. I'm a student at High Point University. I do ROTC through NCA and T though. I guess I was really interested in the military just from my family. Uh, I wanted to actually go active duty just straight out of high school. Both my parents were in the Army, but I decided to maybe take the ROTC way instead and you know, get college experience as well. For some students who don't realize even what ROTC is, it may come as a shock at some points. But for the most part, when people do get to know you and they start to understand you know, what you're doing and what you're working for, it's really not different from what anyone else is doing, whether someone wants to be a doctor or an engineer. Everyone has their own goals and they're working their own way through college and this is just happens to be the way we're doing it. So once you get to know people, you know, even though we might wear a uniform around campus, it's really not that much different from regular college life. We don't get to really have the fun that all the rest of the college students do. I mean, they, don't, they can put off their homework till about 8 o'clock at night and start doing their homework then, but by the time 8 o'clock hits, I'm already getting ready for bed. Uh, we got early mornings most of the time, especially myself. I do PT five days a week instead of three like most people. Um, so that portion and the fact that, you know, we don't get to party as much as everybody else as well. You know, they get to enjoy their weekends. Sometimes we have training and stuff, so. We do a lot of physical training, whereas we will get up early in the morning, probably a lot earlier than most folks to desire here on campus. So I do think that the cadets in the program is a cut above the normal student. You hear, you hear the terminology student athlete. Well, I use the terminology student cadet because I think it goes a little bit above beyond just being an ordinary student. We meet at six o'clock in the morning to do push-ups, sit-ups, various other type of uh, strenuous activities to build upper body and, and, and endorse type thing. And we run, it could be anywhere from two miles to four or five miles, or maybe short, it might be sprints, those type things. Being it's my third year, a lot of times we lead physical training for the, for the younger people. Um, we can do anything on a daily basis from land navigation to practicing uh, attack maneuvers, uh, ruck marching. And we'll do some training exercises or training events such as field navigation where we'll go to a, a wooded area. There'll be a, a spot in the woods, so to speak, where we tell the, the cadets, okay, here's a map, here's a compass, and they say, okay, go find this point on the map. And we actually time them and they have to find between five and eight points on the map in a given amount of time. We also have other activities like going to aerosol school where you repel a helicopter, set up landing zones, or go to airborne school where you get to jump out of airplanes during the summer. You know, a lot of, as we say, hua type stuff. I've already jumped out of a plane five times. I repelled out of a helicopter and learned how helicopters move and, you know, carry loads and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's just, it's abstract knowledge that a lot of people won't have. 
that I may that I may be able to capitalize on if I go into the public sector eventually. More things that you can gain from the program that don't necessarily contribute just to an Army career, it's what ROTC makes you into as a person. Definitely try to better yourself as a person and a soldier, you know, because you don't want to get out there and then you're ate up. When I was in high school, you know, I was the quiet kid, never really got into trouble, you know, I, I was just kind of there. Uh, I, I don't really think I carried a lot of weight with anybody I ever spoke to, but I think through ROTC it's really, it really empowers you. You have to get confident pretty fast in your own ability, learn uh, while you may be getting yelled at, and you know, just take from those kinds of experiences and it makes you into a better person whether you believe it or not. The first year or so is pretty rough, but you know, about during my time, your third or fourth year, you really start to be more developed, not as a soldier or cadet, but as a person in general. So it's actually, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see the leadership, to see it actually in action from the beginning to a, a current state. So I mean, it's actually been a very rewarding experience. Five, ten years from now, these young ladies, man, they'll be the, the, the platoon leaders, the company commanders, and the future battalion commanders in, in the force. I have no doubt that we, we have the right people that we're about to put out there to, to do what the, the country is calling and needs to be done.